Hello, hello, hello. Again, Caleb from LearnWagtail.com. Hopefully you've been following along in this little mini series here. Uh, from that last video, that last lesson, or last two actually, because we created the homepage in two videos, uh, we have these blog posts and a link to somewhere that goes nowhere. So you can actually see at the bottom left, it says to do ad link and none of this stuff works. We don't have a blog yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a blog. So what we're gonna do is open up our terminal, python manage.py start app, and we're just gonna call it B-L-O-G, blog. Now it looks like nothing happened, but I can show you, I can assure you, something did happen. There's a new folder in here called blog. If I open up my project and close all my folders, we can see, ooh, hello, blog. Blog.models exists as well. Now, that's all nice, but nothing's actually going to work for us unless we go into our base.py and inside of our installed apps, we add blog. And that just matches this folder name. So we can go ahead and we can close that, close home, let's close the home page. And we are going to take a look at the design and to see a couple of things that we might possibly need. So we have this design, we have a category. Maybe it has multiple categories. In fact, it does. It could have multiple categories. It has a title, it has a date that it was posted, and a five minute read. Um, and we have all this stuff. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this into two videos as well. So the first one, instead of actually working on the blog page, we're gonna just gonna work on this page right here. This is our blog listing page. All we're gonna do is list our blog posts. Uh, so taking a look at this design first, what do we have? Title subtitle, a possible subscribe form. Maybe that's optional. We have a blog post, another blog post, another blog post. And yeah, while they have different categories, kind of, you know, they're same, same. They're 95% the same. And then we have pagination, which we'll tackle in a different video. So let's go ahead and create this page. And we are just gonna open up our project and we're going to first from wagtail.models, import page and we're going to say class the blog index page uh, we want to say max count of one there should only ever be one like a highlander there can only ever be one blog index page sub page types sure we'll tackle that a little bit later i'm going to add this as a to do so i don't forget to tell you all about that parent page types we're going to say this is home and home page. So the blog can only ever live under the home page. It can never be a root page. It can never live under a future contact page or even itself. It has to be yourwebsite.com. So that's going to be your home page slash blog. And that's going to be your blog listing page or blog index page. Going back to our design, we have a title. Yeah, wake till pages already come with that. We have a uh, subtitle summary of some kind and a subscribe form plus some context in there. So one thing at a time. The next thing we have to do is add a title. Well, that's already taken care of. If you're ever uncertain, you can always right click and go to definition or check out the source code on GitHub at github.com slash wagtail slash wagtail. And you'll see class page and it's the very first property in there. I guess it's not a property, it's a field, but here we are. Uh, so we don't need a title, but maybe we want a summary or a subtitle. And yep, we're gonna say that's a text field. Yes, it can be blank. Max length is 500, sure, good enough. Then we want, not that one, subtitle, we want a subscribe URL field. So let's do a subscribe URL, models.url field. And this is assuming you're already familiar with HTML. If you're not familiar with HTML, this is probably um, a little bit confusing, but forms will always post either usually get or post, but they, they usually post to a URL. So we have this form in here, and this one currently is not. So we're gonna add that in there, so whenever someone hits subscribe, it's actually gonna go somewhere. So we have that subscribe URL, now we need these content panels, and again, this is starting to look very familiar, isn't it? Let's go ahead and import that from wagtail.admin.panels, import a field panel. And at this point, this is all we're gonna do before we make our migrations. And then, what do we do after that? Sing along with me. Make migrations, apply migrations. 
let's go ahead into our admin. We have the home page. Let's go ahead and maybe add a child page. We can add a blog index page. By the way, actually while we're here, notice how it says home page here? I can add a home page underneath a home page underneath a home page. Well, that's no good. Let's fix that up as well. Home models.py. We're quickly going to get sidetracked and then we'll get back on track. Max count is equal to one. Refresh and it automatically tries to create a blog index page because one doesn't exist yet. We're going to call this blog in the summary. Let's put a lorem ipsum in there and a subscribe URL is going to be HTTPS learnwagtail.com slash test page just to make sure that it works and you know learnwagtail.com might not even accept it but yeah we're gonna try it out anyways okay publish let's go ahead and view live and we're gonna see that this does not work uh oh template does not exist so it's looking for a file called blog index page .html inside of the blog folder now, Wagtail, uh, actually not Wagtail, Django is going to do this. Django is going to look for slash blog slash blog index page inside of Wagtail admin, Wagtail search, yada, yada, yada. It's also going to look for search templates, home templates. It's going to look in all these different folders and it cannot find it. You can put that file anywhere that it's looking for it. So in blog, we can go to the, the blog folder, type in templates. That's going to be a folder name, blog and blog index page.html then in here we can extend base.html and we can do block content and uh, just for giggles let's do hi 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 let's refresh our page and it still doesn't work what is up with that because we put it in we put it in a folder called blog and blog index page so why doesn't that work? Now, if you're ever stuck on that, uh, honestly, just give Django a little bit of a kick. Start your server, or sorry, restart your server, uh, and it should work. Now, if this doesn't work, it's because I have put it in the wrong place, and it looks like I have. So I've restarted the server, and there's another option here, blog slash template slash blog slash blog index page dot HTML. Doesn't seem to exist. What did I do wrong? And if you're screaming at your screen, uh, you probably caught the typo before I did. I named it bog index page, not blog index page. <laughs> there we go. Hi, 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 hi. Homepage has our stuff. Blog does not. Let's go ahead into our blog. And I just want to show this in menus because this will be easier for future videos. Blog shows up. Do, 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 do. There we go. It's starting to come together. Now, in here, we need to, da, 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 please bear with me, grab the title and all this stuff and all this other stuff. So honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that entire template from the original uh, theme called blog.html. Now, this can be a little bit tricky because I do not want the main stuff. What I want is this header. I'm going to do just one thing at a time here. I'm going to... Uh, actually, that is not right either. This is always very, very fun. I'm going to undo that. That is actually the navigation. Uh, intro blog, mobile navigation. Here we are. This is going to be what we're looking at right there. So this is what 200, 190-ish lines of code. I'm literally just going to copy and paste that over to my blog index page. And I want to show you that this works. Now it's not going to obviously work right out of the box. Like, yes, it's called blog, but we didn't write that. We didn't do anything else, but the design is working. And that's all we need to do at this exact moment. Now I'm going to rename this to blog or not blog, but page dot title. It just happens to be blog. And here I'm going to call this page dot summary. And every now and then a personal thing that I like to do is just refresh. Larm Ipsum, blog is in there. The icon is not. We are going to make that icon show up. Static. And don't forget when you use static, you also have to load the static tag. The icon now shows up. 
uh, that form is in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this form. We are going to say method is equal to post and the action is going to be the page dot subscribe URL. And is this is that actually what I wrote? Subscribe URL page dot subscribe URL. Now one thing we might want to do is make this optional. So what we can do is say if page dot subscribe URL actually exists, and if now because we're coming from a template, we don't actually know if it's functional or not. We're going to want to look at a few things. Now, if you're using Mailchimp, you're going to want some extra fields in here. They put some hidden fields in there. Uh, you're going to want to put them in there as well. We're going to keep this simple. We're going to say the type is uh, input type email ID is subscribe. Um, technically, we would want a name in there as well. The name is going to be email. Uh, button. Sometimes a button shows up as a type button, which is going to do nothing. We actually want that to be submit. And subscribe is good enough. So we have this form in here now. Let's refresh our page, and I'm going to put Caleb at Caleb Caleb. If I can spell my own name right, Caleb Caleb dot Caleb. Hello, subscribe, and this is going to go to learnwagtail.com/slash test page, which is exactly what we wrote in here. So that is in fact working. Perfect. The next thing we need is a little context to get all these blog pages. Now, this is going to have to be done in two parts. So the blog index page makes no sense if there are no blog pages. Well, there currently are no blog pages, so we're going to have to create those. So I'm going to get us set up for that next video. Def get context. Post is equal to blog post, yada, 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 order by first published at. We're going to comment that out because the blog page model does not exist. It will exist in the next lesson. Now that we have a blog index page, what we can do is go into our home models. This is from our last video. And we have this to do in here, get context. Now we have blog posts, great, not useful. We don't have blog posts yet, but what we can do is add context blog index is equal to, and then the blog index page dot objects that first we have to go and import that of course, from blog dot models import the blog index page. And that will give us some context. And then if we open up our home page <laughs> in .html, I think we've got another to do in here, right? Yep, right there. And so those all posts actually, you know what, I think I might be going a little fast here. Let's back this train up. In here, blog posts, I want to click this, it says to do add link at the bottom left. That's no bueno, that does not work. I want to replace that. It's right here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to say, blog index dot URL. And again, that comes from home models dot pi in our context, blog index, blog index. Now that's returning a page and we can say the URL is in there. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. Click on that and it goes to our blog. Perfect. Uh, so that was kind of similar to what we were just doing. So I thought I'd throw that in there as a last minute change. Uh, I'm gonna put a to do in here as well. So I don't forget to do something like that in a video. So in the next video, we are going to uh, take a look at creating a blog detail page, we're going to break this into several videos. So we're going to work on categories at some point, we're going to work on uh, the base page itself. We're going to work with some stream fields and this will start to really come together quite quickly. So the next lesson, that's where we're gonna get started. As a recap, what we did was we have a blog index page has a title subtitle, subscribe form and a bunch of stuff in here that really isn't doing any good. It's just for looks, but we're going to turn those looks into functionality very soon.